Good morning, I'm Kevin LaBianco. Welcome to NFT News. This special is where I simply explain NFTs in five minutes. Let's freaking go. NFTs are any digital asset on a blockchain. They are graphics, videos, sounds, and can even be plain text files. NFT files are uploaded to the cloud, but the cloud is distributed, meaning that Google and Amazon do not own it. Normal people like you and I do. And we can rent out space on our personal computers to store the files. When a file gets uploaded to the distributed cloud, such as IPFS, they're linked to a blockchain. At the time of posting, that chain is usually Ethereum. There are a few others out there too, like Solana and Tezos. Bitcoin is never used for NFTs. But when they get linked to the blockchain, they're all owned by the person that linked them. The process by which people claim an NFT file is called minting. For example, you could mint a photo, a song, or a movie. When that happens, the NFT file gets assigned to your digital wallet, and the transaction is publicly recorded on-chain. You then own the NFT. You cannot simply copy the NFT to another wallet like you could copy a normal file from one computer to another because it's tied to the blockchain database. It says that only you have the original copy. Speaking of, all NFTs that you own are stored in a digital wallet, which is just software that you download to your computer or browser. There are many wallets, but some of the most popular ones are MetaMask and the Coinbase wallet. These wallets are for Ethereum, but there are other wallets for the different chains too. There are also hardware wallets that look like the USB thumb drives that we're used to. They're Trezor and Ledger. If you own expensive NFTs, you should use a hardware wallet because they're safer and protect you against hacks. When does money come into play? Usually, when the creator of the NFT writes the code, there is a fee to mint the NFT. It's usually a small fee so that many people can afford it and so that they can quickly sell out. They're typically a couple of hundred bucks, but some projects that have generated a lot of interest pre-mint set their fees much higher, some at $5,000 or more. After minting, you can sell your NFTs on secondary marketplaces like eBay but for NFTs only. OpenSea and Coinbase NFT are popular. These sites let you mint the NFTs. But if you do it there, you don't really own the asset, they do. Each NFT can have a royalty, so even if your created NFT gets sold by somebody else, you would still get a cut of it. While NFTs can be pure art or music, they can also be used like keys or tickets. Many NFT collections like the Bored Ape Yacht Club and Moonbirds have group chats, physical and digital perks that can be unlocked only by owning one of their NFTs. These communities are like exclusive college fraternities and sororities. So why are there all these crazy prices? Well, it's because of supply and demand in a very niche market with people that are finally able to spend the crypto that they've been saving for many years. 20,000 people wanting NFTs from a project that only has 5,000 total will drive up the price pretty fast. Prices can drop fast too, and that's exactly why NFTs can be so risky. NFTs that cost a few hundred dollars can, st can skyrocket to tens of thousands of dollars or more, and can plummet with fear in the market. For many in the long run, leadership and utility drive the true value. The prices of the NFT market will correct themselves in time, but two things are for sure. NFTs are here to stay, and their value is real. In the future, you might go to a Microsoft and buy a subscription to Office 365. You'll pay with your digital wallet. They'll send you an NFT, and you'll gain access to the product. You'll log in with your wallet, too. No more email logins and passwords for every single site. All of us in Web3 are trying to make this future a reality. I hope that helped clarify what NFTs are in a nutshell and their place on the internet. All the links that I've talked about are in the description below. 
Like and subscribe the video to stay updated on the latest NFT projects, and you can follow me on Twitter and join the news discord to chat about the wild world of NFTs. Thanks for watching, and good night.